It is not very often that you see the White House engaged in a Twitter fight. But nonetheless, that's where we are. So this is in Mediate here. White House drags House Republican opposed to student debt relief after he had a $1 million PPP loan forgiven. Oh boy. So the last time I think the White House got into a Twitter fight, it was with Marjorie Taylor Greene, and it was over a very, very similar issue. So uh, here, let me show you. So Representative Mike Kelly said the following. No student loan is forgiven. The debt is just transferred onto the backs of the American taxpayers. So let me actually click. What was this in response to? Let's see. Okay, so the Associated Press said the following. President Joe Biden announced another wave of federal student loan forgiveness on Wednesday as borrowers brace for payments to restart after a three-year pause that began during the COVID-19 pandemic. So look, is there a way to go after this Associated Press thing? Yes. It would be to focus on the latter part. That, oh my God, they're restarting payments after a three-year pause and a lot of people say they can't afford it. He could have gone after that part and said, hey man, pause it again until you get rid of it. He didn't say that. He said, quote, no student loan is forgiven. The debt is just transferred onto the backs of the American taxpayers. So this is the classic argument of like, actually, did you know it's elitist to forgive student loan debt? That you're actually pro-establishment if you want to forgive student loan debt? This is effectively the argument he's making. So the White House comes in, elbow from the top rope. Congressional Republican math is complaining about student debt release relief while having $987,237 of your own PPP loans forgiven. You have got to be kidding me. So this dude got nearly a million dollar loan forgiven, paid for by the taxpayer, but he's whining about some poor student who can't afford to pay their student loans, getting their student loans wiped out. God, I hate these people. Look, it's like, well, when, when it's for me, I deserve it. I'm entitled. But if it's for, you know, some, some poor student, well, fuck them. They shouldn't have taken the loan in the first place, or they should pay it back no matter how long it takes to pay it back. This is their way of thinking. So for them, for me, for me and all my buddies, this is why, like, when, when it comes to, like, Wall Street bailouts, they all vote for Wall Street bailouts. Why? They think, like, hey, even if they made every wrong decision under the sun and bankrupted their own companies, they're my buddies and they wear suits and ties, so they deserve to be bailed out. They de they're entitled to the tax money. But again, for anybody poor or working class, fuck off. That's the way they look at it. And so now this guy, by the way, really good burn from the White House there, pointing out like, oh yeah, oh, you're so opposed to debt forgiveness. Well, what about this? It's embarrassing he responded to this too. So he comes in and says the following. PPP loans save nearly 200 essential jobs at our family business. After a Democrat governor declared those employees non-essential and shut our doors, PPP loans are designed to be forgiven and went directly to employees. Nice try. By the way, how's the border wall coming along? All right, so let's pause. When he brings up the border wall thing, what happened? Yeah, Biden agreed to build 20 miles of border wall, which is what you guys say you want. And now instead of saying, hey, I agree. Thank you. What do they do? Attack him for it. What? See, there's no winning. If, if, if a Democrat does what a Republican wants, they attack you anyway. So why would you even ever do what they want? They're going to attack you anyway. You might as well do good things. So uh, that's to address that portion. Now, the other portion is, he's like, well, I don't understand the problem. The PPP loans were supposed to be forgiven. The PPP loans, I mean, yeah, I'm in favor of the PPP loans. But hold on, you said you're against the taxpayers funding this stuff. Why is it when it's for you, it's okay? But when it's for others, well, they should buck up and pull themselves up by their bootstraps and pay it. He acts like, whoa, 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 those two things are completely different. My ass cheeks, they're completely different. They're not different at all. The PPP loans were like, hey, we have a pandemic. A lot of people are struggling. Let's bail out some businesses. Which, by the way, I get it, right? Makes sense. But the whole idea about wiping out the student loan debt is what? The whole college university system was a scam. It was a scam. Prices shot through the roof. People can't afford it. They have to take out loans. You have people in their 50s and 60s still paying back their college loans. Look, the fact of the matter is, in many other developed countries... There is no such thing as student loan debt. They, they fund colleges in the same way that they fund, like, public high schools, right? It's like, this is something that should be off the table. You know, nobody acts like, how are you going to pay for that kindergarten? How are you going to pay for that middle school? 
No, it's just part of the social fabric. It's like, yeah, we have public schools and they're funded and people go there and that's the end of the conversation. It's funded by tax dollars, but everybody agrees to it because it's a good thing to prioritize. But all of a sudden, when it comes to college, it's like, oh, you should pay for it on your own. You don't have to go into debt until you're 60 years old. It's like, no, student loan debt shouldn't even exist. It shouldn't be a thing. If I was prioritizing debt to wipe out, of course I would pick that. But he's outraged by it. So again, think about the difference. He has a, quote, family business with 200 employees. And he's like, oh, I deserve tax money. It doesn't sound like a family business to me. It sounds like a big business to me. He's like, my big business deserves to be showered with tax money. So when it comes to him, it's like socialism galore. When it comes to regular people, it's shut up. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You're not getting a penny. Not getting a penny. It's just amazing to me the way that he's rationalized this thing. Money for me, money for my friends, money for my donors from the government is totally legitimate and fair. Money for poor people and working class people. How are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay, pay for it? Piss off. So, anyway, embarrassing uh, response from this guy. Uh, I truly appreciate the White House's elbow from the top rope. And by the way, let's be clear. I appreciate that um, they invoked the Higher Education Act to go around the Supreme Court, say, no, we're going to uh, reduce the student loan debt, whether you like it or not. But then also just announced another $9 billion in student loan debt reduction. So in other words, they're leaning in. They're not stopping. This idea that, like, oh, Biden doesn't really want it, like he's forced to do it, etc. Well, why does he keep doing new rounds of student loan debt reduction? And why did he appeal the cases repeatedly? And why did he circumvent the Supreme Court when they slapped it down this last time if he didn't really want to do it? He does really want to do it. And you got to give credit where credit's due. Credit on that front and let these Republicans whine and cry and bitch and moan. And the fact of the matter is they have no problem with big government as long as it's going to what they want it to go to. Military industrial complex, war spending, Wall Street bailouts. Gimme, 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 gimme the money. That's how they think about it. But when it comes to anything for regular people, the WIC program, right, like uh, formula for, for babies, when it comes to home heating assistance, when it comes to meals on wheels, these are the things they want to cut. Student loan debt reduction, cut that. No. No. This guy is dead wrong, and he's super obnoxious. All right, guys. That's the show. I love you all, as always. Thank you for listening to me run my mouth. Everybody do me a big favor. Please click like. Click subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Um, and we could use all the help we can get on that front. And click that bell icon so you get a notification every single time a video drops. And always remember, you can support this show on Patreon if you'd like. Link in the video description box below. You can also tip through YouTube. There's a thanks button. That's below me as well. I've never had a conversation with an advertiser. I'm very proud of that fact. You guys help fund this show from the ground up. And as always, I'm deeply, deeply uh, grateful and thankful for you. And that's all I got for you guys today, man. Love you all. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.